Hi there, I'm Dr. Jay Brightler with New Leaf Chiropractic and visiting with me as almost always is Larissa. And uh, we were just visiting with a client today and she was uh, th mentioning that her hip pain, uh, we were on a really, really good trajectory moving forward with her chiropractic adjustments. She got to about 75% relief and then things started to stagnate. So then I, I asked her a question. I said, well, tell me a little bit about your exercise routine, what it looks like. She said, well, you know, like a walking every now and then. And I said, okay, well, uh, are you, wh what are you doing for core strength? And she said, well, not really anything at all. So this was about, this was only one week ago. So I'd really like you to start bringing some core strength into your exercise routine. She said, oh, you think that'll work? I said, yeah, it might take a couple weeks or maybe even a couple months, but if you stick with it, then things should start to take off. You might be at a plateau for a little bit, but just like when you turn on your refrigerator for the first time, it takes some time to cool off. Your body might take some time, need some time to strengthen up. Uh, she says today, she's like, hey, I'm, I'm like almost 100% better just from adding the core strength. And the reason why, this is what I told her, and can, will you stand up, Larissa? Yes. Is that anytime, I just need your body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 um, so the reason why is that your spine run ac runs axial like this. Let's bring this to spine again here. <clears throat> so with your spine running, axial like this, if you don't have proper core strength, what happens is all, all the weight just goes right straight down your spine. And so all these spinal nerves then that are exiting these intervertebral foramen, they start to become irritated. We call them subluxations. So with this particular human, I said, I really want you to focus on the stuff out here so that all that weight gets away from the axial and goes onto the transverse and rectus abdominis. And so just with one exercise routine, uh, with one uh, just a couple days of core strength, she already noticed that switch. So, thank you, I can use the rest of you now. <laughs> um, and so, but, so here's the demonstration, that the reason why core strength is so important, and it's not just your spinal health. I was actually reflecting on my, my running. I used to be a, a fairly accomplished runner way back in the day, and I, I hit a point where I just plateaued out. I, what I started to do, as I said, I just, I got, I just, I guess, I just got to do something different, and I really started to hammer the core strength part of my body. Well, what happened is because my core got so strong, I didn't need to use my leg muscles as much because my, my, the core of my body, which is where all my extremity movement coming was coming from, was able to work as a stronger anchor. So it's not just your spinal height, it's not just your spinal height, but it be everything from running, swimming biking, we, but we have a tendency to lose the core. And here's why. So I'm gonna use Larissa as an example. Larissa, just go ahead and move your arm up and down. Okay, great, <laughs> good job. Now, and now I want you to try, and try this at home. If you're watching this right now, sit down and try doing this. Try moving your arm up without flexing any of these muscles. Yeah, just so did you see exactly? So that's the first thing that happened. So go, let's go ahead and move the chair up a little bit. So you, um, and she just went like this. Because when you're not firing those muscles, if just to sit like this, you need to be firing your core. So now try to not fire any of these muscles and move your arm. It's hard. Yeah, it's actually not possible. It's not possible. Yeah, I can see yeah. you're, you're cheating. So if I keep my hand here, now, now move. I don't even need to give her open, open up her arm because she's not going to be able to do it. So go ahead and try to fire your, your arm up now without firing in your core. Without firing your <laughs> core. <laughs> so it can't be done. You, the, the strength, the center of everything that you do comes from your core. So this isn't necessarily gonna be a how-to video, but a demonstration why. And the more and more you think, oh, look, do I, am I, do I need to do more core routine stuff? Here's the one thing that I usually give humans who come in the office. Are your abs sore today? Is, is it sore to move your body today? If the answer is no, then it means that you either didn't do enough yesterday if you did a core routine, or you between your last core workout and today, you're ready to go and you're ready to hammer another one. There's almost no level of, can I do too much core? There really is almost no place where you're doing too much core activity because it's so central to everything that happens in the human body. So, yay. <laughs> If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this, go ahead and just reach out to us on Facebook. Uh, we're also out on YouTube. If you want to see core strengthening exercises that piggybacks on this, because now here it's like, okay, well, great, you've identified the problem. You've identified the problem, why am I running stagnated or my, my, my hip hurts? 
what do I do now? Go ahead, click on website, newleaf-chiropractic.com. Click on stretches, and there's a whole piece there on core exercises. Dr. Google's great, you can go and find some, but specifically if you're looking for spinal neutral exercises, we've got a couple that Larissa and I have hammered out on there also. Thanks for joining us today, gang.